Hi, I'm Curtis Suter, and I'm addicted to GPS triangle racing. Thanks to Andre from RC Electronics, he's made some absolutely fabulous hardware and software that has made this so easy to do. He's having a fire sale on some refurbished equipment that's no longer produced, but there's some confusion in the naming that I've been asked a whole lot of different questions, so I thought I'd make a video to help narrow some of this down. So you need an airborne unit that goes into the model, and that's what you see here. I'll explain about it here in a little bit. A TEK probe, it's actually not necessary, but in his sale, he's selling it, and it makes a whole lot of difference when you actually fly as to detecting thermals. And then you need a ground-based unit, and then he either offers, uh, it's called a Finch or a Snipe. And then, of course, you'll need the free app, but it does uh, cost a little bit for the subscription for that. Uh, it's well worth every penny that you pay for it. So in the ground base station, uh, the Finch, it's no longer made, but it works just great. It's got an antenna that just screws on and I just leave it on there all the time. The Snipe um, is what is being sold and produced now. The difference between the two is that the Snipe has all of the audio files inside of the Snipe, whereas with the Finch, when it is plugged into the phone or your tablet with the app running, you'll get all the audio out of the phone. It does not give you as much information as the Snipe does. The Snipe, I actually have coming, instead of to uh, some earbuds, I have it coming to a Bluetooth transmitter, and that just goes up to some wireless bone induction headsets that I have. Uh, what the Snipe does is, is it will give you warnings as in beeps prior to getting to a turn point. You'll hear three beeps, two beeps, one beep, and then turn. And you can set the timing for that in the app. It also gives you stereo. And so with the stereo headsets or earbuds, if you get audio in only one ear, well, you need to turn that direction. If you get audio in both ears, you're absolutely on course. Uh, but both of these have varios. And so that would be the same. So flying it with the Finch, you have to look at the app just a little more often. Whereas if you have the Snipe, you can look at that much less of the time because you're getting audio cues. Okay, so that's the ground station. You would just mount uh, your tablet or your phone and, um, and either receiver transmitter onto your phone or your tripod. Okay, so for the airborne unit, so right now, all he sells is producing is the Raven 2 or the Raven 2 Pro. I believe the Pro does indicated airspeed and the Raven 2 doesn't. I'm not certain. I don't own a Raven. But he's also produced a Sparrow and a Swift. Both are very much suitable in contests. And as you can see that I'm flying a Swift, works great. With the Swift, you have to have an RF module. I'll flip that over and that's the RF module and then this is a short little antenna that you need to have in a non-carbon part of your fuselage. This is the GPS antenna and then there's also uh, this is my air tube that comes in from the probe and that's a digital to analog converter or analog to digital converter whichever way you want to look at that. Um, the nice thing about the Raven too is that the antenna the RF module and the uh, digital converter is actually built right inside of the unit itself. And it's not a whole lot larger either. Uh, so this whole assembly needs to be powered and you don't have to power it through your receiver, even though I highly recommend that. By plugging it into an unused channel, channel in your receiver, you can set up a switches to change the pages on the app. So when you have the app up and running, you could go from thermal page to glide page or start page, and there's all different types of information you can get on those pages to look at. As far as the TEK probe goes, it's just a tube. This is silicone tubing here, and then it runs into a stiffer, kind of like a nirod tube that comes in. I take a little balsa underneath in there, and I get that all mounted and glued up in, and then it's just held in with silicone tubing. 
And so there's the silicone tubing slides up and down. This slides inside that brass tubing I've permanently glued in, and then it just slides right down over it and it's never come out. Uh, the probe needs to be oriented this way. That's the way the model's flying. You don't want the probe the other way. And this is a VTEK probe on his website. He makes another one that would come out the leading edge of the vertical surfaces um, if you choose to mount it all the way back into the tail. Uh, some people also mount this probe up front in the top of their canopies, and that works really nicely too. Um, so anyway, so that's all you need. Um, and the fire sale that he's having, you get a VTEK probe, you get all of the airborne equipment, you get the subscription to the Albatross app, and you get a Finch, which works just great. And then, of course, somewhere you could upgrade or purchase the Snipe that gives you the stereo steering. I'll provide some links at the bottom of this in the YouTube, and I hope it helps you out. I just thought I'd ramble on here for a little bit. All right, have a nice day, and enjoy those triangles.